Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. And in today's video, we are up bright and early. We're going to be doing a first impressions and a wear test on this new foundation from Urban Decay. This is their Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Now, I actually bought this a few days ago off of QVC, and I just went back to check the QVC website, and it did say that it is completely sold out. There was no information on it at all. So I'm going to be pulling all of the info for today's video off of Trend Mode, which is just like the post where they list, you know, the info, the coverage, the price, all that kind of stuff. I don't think I'll be able to post this down um, down in the description box like I normally would, but I will keep my eyes open, and when it comes to like Sephora, Ulta, or wherever else, I will post it over um, probably in the community tab, so keep your eyes open for that, um, and I'll just let you guys know as soon as I see it again, because again, right now it is currently sold out. Oh, look, there's a tractor. <laughs> Can you hear it? It's really loud today. Good morning. Good morning, Northern Michigan. We see you. We see you, bitch. But I guess the moral of the story here is if you're curious about this foundation, uh, you know, again, first impressions, wear, test, all the good things, stay tuned because we're going to be rolling into it in just a second. But before we do that, I like to pause, just introduce myself, uh, just for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Uh, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And then, of course, if you haven't done so yet, okay, maybe, maybe you haven't heard. I only post it, you know, in every, every single video. Um, but if you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would take just a second and go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, and I am really working on um, growing that platform, really really putting a lot more work into it. I have a ton of makeup content, makeup inspo photos, reviews, um, little mini IGTV videos, tutorials, reels, stuff like that. And then I also have some plus-size fashion, you know, casual to business casual, just really playing around with the platform and putting, you know, as much over there as I can. And it's actually been really fun, too, because as I've said in literally every video, um, I'm really working to grow that platform and to do more with it and it's just been a really fun way for those of you that are looking for more content and more like behind the scenes because not only do I post a lot in the feed of it like all that stuff but I also post in my um, IG stories throughout the day I do unboxings we talk about stuff I get in the mail little mini makeup hauls and um, you know just stuff like that that way you guys kind of get to see not only the behind the scenes like with you know my dog and my family and that kind of stuff but you also get to see what makeup is coming like to the channel I ask you guys polls and it's really just way more interactive um, over there than I feel like on here is just because it's more, you know, day in, day out. But anyways, the moral of the story here is that if you haven't followed me yet, again, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Everything is linked down below. And with that, let's go ahead, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, you guys, so we're good and zoomed in. I did go ahead and put on a little bit of my Tatcha Silk Canvas just as, you know, a primer, letting it sink into the skin. And I'm gonna go through really quickly here and just run through some of the specs on this foundation. Again, pulling this from Trend Mood, it says that this is a long-wearing tinted glow hydrator with kombucha and marula oil. It is medium coverage and a fresh looking glow. The weightless dewy formula hits you with hydration of a tinted moisturizer plus the long lasting medium coverage. It says you can apply with your fingers and blend outwards from the center of your face and build to desired coverage. Available in 12 shades for $29. And as far as the shade range goes, I'm kind of thrown off because 12 shades, for, first of all, it's just a shitty shade range, but I'm confused because um, first of all, there's no like picture on an arm. So like you can actually see the swatch is all there is is like the little picture graphics but um even more than that what's confusing me is that typically if you're gonna release only like 12 shades normally it's more of a light coverage product like a tinted you know cc cream bb cream something like that and this one is saying that it actually has more medium coverage so i mean it's actually kind of being marketed in two different ways like a medium coverage foundation but also also as a tinted glow type product so i'm not really sure um i mean as far as the marketing goes i'm not really sure which direction we're going. That's just very interesting. But as far as the information goes, that is all that I have on that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into application here. I have this in the shade 20 Fair, which I believe this is the second lightest shade. And medium coverage. Is there anything else here? Up to 24 hour glow for a dewy, juicy finish. Healthy looking skin glow, up to 24 hour wear. Um, vegan formula. Okay, there's really not much else. You do get 1.1 fluid ounces. Okay, so this is very, very light. It's looking, oh wow, wow. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to bronze. I'm actually going to go in first, like it said here, and just apply some with my hands just to see what it looks like. But of course, I do have a brush and a sponge on standby because that's how I would normally apply something. Okay, so just in doing that one little side here with my hand, 
I actually can see, I think, why they would have you apply it that way because I feel like you're able to get a really nice even press without losing any coverage. And you know what? That might actually be damn near a perfect match for me. Oh, how sad is that? It looks so light. <laughs> but if I'm matching that to my neck, like, damn, <laughs> it's, it's kind, of, kind of a harsh reality over here. I am pasty, y'all. Northern Michigan Page is out to play because it is almost winter. I'm just going in right here and trying to see um, as far as the buildable aspect goes. I want to see if I can actually get any additional additional coverage because y'all I am having a hell of a breakout my skin has actually been really clear lately and then all of a sudden hormones poof, just all over the face it's great love that so much for me now as far as the coverage goes I just want to give you guys kind of a shot of it this right here is the area where I applied you know two times just to try to build up the coverage and then of course the side has nothing on it and so I think in terms of the coverage I'm getting more of like a light buildable coverage not so much a medium because right here all of the redness is still peeking through in like the really red and inflamed area is, but I am still getting a little coverage over like the redness I get on my cheeks from the acne scarring that I have. So for the other side, I'm just going to take the Kaleido C1 angled contour brush and I am going to build up some coverage over there using that brush. It's a newer brush. I know it's not, you know, technically a foundation brush, but they just sent it to me and it feels so, so nice. So I'm just going to work um, some of that coverage and then build it up um, like I did on the other side just to see how well it builds with a brush. All right. So at this point, I went ahead, obviously zoom the camera in. That way you guys could get a better shot of, you know, coverage and everything that's happening here. And this side is the side I did with a brush. This side is the one that I did with my hand. And I do think, like, in terms of the coverage that I got, I think that the brush did help a little bit, just, like, build it up, get it on. You know, application was a lot faster. But I think in terms of, like, the smoothness and the, like, application, the press-in look, I actually like the hand side better just because the, um, I, I feel like the heat from my hand really helped not only press it in, but it also didn't leave, like, the surface of my skin streaky, which I'm seeing on this side, like especially up on the nose or like over my acne and my raised texture. I'm noticing with a brush because this is a very, um, very hydrating formula that it wants to really slip around, which is also happening quite a bit on my nose too, like right through here. By the way, for anybody that's new here, I typically put this at the start of my foundation review, but my skin type is actually a combo leaning oily. So the outskirts of my face are, you know, a lot different than my T-zone right here. I get very oily throughout the day and I can see with this foundation that we are going to have a little bit of a situation going on there um, just in terms of again that uh, that grippage factor to my nose but as far as the rest of my face looks it actually is pulling very nicely like right through here I think it looks good um, the only thing that I think I'm going to do actually I am going to grab that sponge that I have where is it right here and I'm going to go through and actually smooth out the brush side because I think that going in with a brush um, again it does help like build the coverage and whatnot but I do feel like it um, applied it a little bit heavy over my textured area just because it's clinging right there. So I'm just going to go through and smooth it out. Now in terms of coverage, I just want to go in really quick with my finger here and try to build up a little bit of coverage like in these areas and just see if the heat from my hand actually does help build it because I feel like with a brush, I wasn't able to like build in these areas as well. But I feel like when you go in with your hand, you can actually build up a little bit. Okay, so I think at this point, I'm good here in terms of the foundation. Um, I'm not gonna build it up anymore, and this color is actually like <laughs> literally the perfect match for me. God, that is terrifying. Okay, so I'm just gonna give one last shot here really quick of the foundation without me touching it, messing with it. Um, that way you guys can see how everything looks in terms of the coverage. Big ass truck going by and toot toot beep beep. Don't mind it. Northern Michigan girl. We get up early here. All right. So if you're new here for my foundation reviews, I like to go through and obviously I apply the foundation um, with you guys on camera, but I also like to do the concealer and the powder. And that way you guys can kind of see how it looks every step of the way. We can go through all of that. Um, and then I do go off of camera. I finish everything up and then I come back for another check-in once all the makeup is applied. So, you know, just in terms of what you're going to be seeing going forward, I like to really segment the steps so you can see how the complexion builds on itself um, and you can also see my application like what I choose to go in with. I'm going to go in next here with the Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Concealer and I'm taking this in the shade 2.1 and I'm using this concealer um, because A, I, it's like the only concealer I have that's going to be light enough I think that um, will work with this foundation but I'm also using it because I do want to add a little coverage and this is part of the reason that I like to do um, 
all of the different uh, things on camera as far as complexion goes because obviously the way everybody does their makeup is going to be different and some people with a lighter coverage um, you know uh, foundation whatever you want to call this but some people with this option for a base they're going to want to go with a light concealer and then a light full face of makeup and other people might be like me where they want you know this lighter coverage base but then they want to build on top of it with other you know concealers and powders and whatnot That's why I do like to do it on camera because I think it's important to showcase um, both sides like what the foundation does on its own but also what it does when I you know build it up and I add all of the coverage that I want because I again I think it's just such a personal preference in terms of how people you know wear their um wear their makeup and how much coverage they're looking for but obviously too I don't ever want to like you know make it look like a foundation sorry I thought I, thought I had a cat here um I don't ever want to make it look like a foundation has more like coverage than it does because I think that that's one of the biggest um disservices you can do especially to somebody you know trying to decide is this the foundation for you is to not show them like the rest of the process not show them if you added a high coverage concealer if you added you know a foundation powder you know the, the, those kind of things really do matter in terms of the overall look and I just yeah I like to show you guys all of that as I go all right now going through from there and setting the under eyes and the t-zone I am taking the one size setting powder this is the stuff from Patrick Starr his one size line and I'm just gonna take and really press that through Again, just the under eyes and the T-zone. All right, then from there all over the face, I'm gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Press Powder, and this is in the shade Light. This powder does add a little bit of coverage, which, um, again, it's a foundation powder, like a pressed one, so I'm not surprised. Um, but I like to go in whenever I do a foundation review and use products that I use, you know, day in, day out, the ones that I know work for me. And so even though it does add a little coverage, which obviously, you know, you can still see poking through, like the redness, the hyperpigmentation, and what not. Um, I just obviously like to tell you guys that I did go in with a little more coverage. Okay, so at this point, before I run off of camera, because obviously I got to go finish up everything, but I wanted to zoom in really quick here and just give you guys a last shot of it um, in terms of how everything is looking now that it is completely set down. You can see that I have like uh, my redness and my hyperpigmentation, the really dark spots. Those are still poking through, which again makes sense because this is a lighter coverage foundation. But just in going in with that powder, I definitely think it helped to kind of even out the discoloration, like the redness, you know, up along here on my forehead um, and it just helped kind of bring it I would say more to like an even keel medium all across the board and uh, I actually think everything looks really beautiful the foundation itself um, actually set down really nice which by the way as far as the finish of this goes obviously you guys could see it on camera um, normally I do like a touch test to you know show transfer and stuff but this is a foundation that most definitely has transfer and um, it's going to be very very glowy very dewy on your skin and so if you are gonna go in with this I would say if you have like super dry skin in. You might not have to set it, but like just be mindful because she is a very, very glowy foundation, um, especially just in like the initial application. But I'm really happy that being said with how it's setting down, uh, like with the powder and stuff. And uh, yeah, I think I think actually so far everything looks pretty good. The only area, like I said, that I've got any real concern over is the nose. And that is to be expected, I think, with this kind of foundation with my skin type. Anyways, at this point, I don't think I have anything else to add. I think everything looks good. Even the texture looks really, really nice too. Like, it's just a very nice pressed in feel. Um, so I'm going to go ahead uh, at this point. Yeah, I'm going to run off of camera, do the rest of my face, and I will be right back. And all right, beautiful people, with that, I am back. Obviously, I haven't done my hair yet or anything. Um, I wanted to do this check-in first. That way you guys could see how everything looked freshly applied. And so I'm going to go ahead and actually throw up the up close. That way you can see how this is coming together. And I think for me, one of the biggest things that I always like to make sure of is that on camera, it's coming across, you know, similar to how it looks in real life. Like if there's any differences, I really like to highlight that and I really like that with this foundation so far I'm not seeing any like egregious differences between the two I think on camera it does look nice and smooth over the cheeks which is definitely true in real life you can see you know maybe a little bit of poor emphasizing like around the nose area but for me that is pretty typical when I go in with a more hydrating foundation because I do set everything with powder and then it takes a couple of hours for I would say the hydration from the foundation and the powders to really meld together on my skin so I think for right now this actually looks pretty typical to how it would look um I mean with any other like I said hydrating you know glowy type foundation and I really don't have anything to complain about again other than like slightly more porous looking like on and around the nose area um I think it looks really really nice I will say 
there are certain areas like maybe right around here like my my drier more acne texture you can probably see it right on like this area of my mouth it's the only area where I think it actually looks a little bit drier and I don't think and I just want to clarify if you see it on camera that is not I don't think the foundation um I think it's just like a hormonal acne thing where sometimes your skin gets dry because it's all irritated because you have acne blah 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 um and so if you happen to see that or if you see it along any of the other hormonal texture I don't think it's the foundation again I think it's just you know me, me being a woman and having all kinds of damn hormones okay it's just it's it's crazy. Y'all know I got, by the way, if you're new here, I got a brain tumor and she just, <laughs> hormones, it's a hormonal tumor. Oh my word. Okay. She is just living and thriving her best life this last week. Ooh, giving me all the acne. I'm just loving it. Okay. Not really. Just saying. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're new here, hello, just want to throw that out there. Um, and then also too, let's go ahead and run through the other items I am using. Oh my God, you guys, the coffee's kicking in. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I needed that. Whew, I needed that. All right. What, what are we going to talk about? Oh, the other items on my face. So, um, let's just run through them really quickly here for brows. I have on the e.l.f. Brow Wow Volumizing Brow Gel, the Tarte DIY Brow. I just talked about this and actually a couple of the other items I'm wearing, like the, what is this? This is the M Cosmetics Teddy Lip Liner, and I just talked about that as well in the Testing New Makeup, which I will link up here. It went up, I want to say Monday for you guys, so definitely check that out if you're curious, but I wore those, and then I also put on today from the Raw Beauty Christy collab all over the lids. This is the shade Campfire in her Super Shock Shadow, super duper beautiful, and I just have that all over the lid. And for a highlight, I went in with the Natasha Denona. It's the I Need a Nude Glow highlight, right? Hold on, let me, let me grab it here. Um, yes, the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow highlighter. And I topped that off with a little bit. Man, I'm just pulling from all directions today. Um, I topped that off with a little bit of the ABH Nicole Guerrero, this bright shade right here, just to help liven it up a little bit, make it match my skin tone a little better. And then what else? Oh, bronzer is my usual Charlotte Tilbury uh, airbrush bronzer in medium. Medium. For blush, I used the Chantecaille Emotion Blush, which I've been using a lot lately. For gloss, I did add on the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Walk of No Shame lip gloss, and it's actually a really beautiful pinky color, and I just like the way that it paired with the campfire on the eyes. I thought it gave me just like a whole cute little moment. So that is what I'm wearing on the face. Like I said, really not a little mascara if you care. Um, mascara, I am wearing the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and for the eyeliner, I am wearing the One Size by Patrick Starr, his One Size Liner in Bodacious Black, and that, that, my friends, is everything, um, which, of course, I will have it all linked down below if you want to check it out, shop it, whatnot. So you guys know, too, I do try to link everything down below. I just got myself all tongue-twisted there. Um, I try to link it all down below, though, not just the makeup. I try to do, like, the, the jewelry, earrings, the sweatshirt, all the good things. Um, that way, you guys can check it out because I know, I know, <laughs> do I know how irritating it is to watch somebody and be like, huh, what is that? Huh, what is that? Oh, I need it. I need, I need it. I want it. Um, and then you're just like, what the hell are you wearing? And they don't tell you and they don't list it in the description box. Like, ooh, it just gets me going on like a whole nother level. So I try really, 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 really hard to always link it down below for you. Just if in you're curious. Ooh. At this point, you guys, I'm going to go ahead, run off of camera, do my day. I'm running <laughs> super duper late and I still have to do my hair, which I'm actually, did I say this already? I don't know. Um, but I was letting my hair air dry this morning because I'm going to be using the new T3. Um, this is their Curl ID Curling Iron, and I am so, <laughs> so freaking excited. Um, so I'm going to be using that today to try to curl my hair, just give it like a little test run, and I was just letting my hair air dry, and she looks crazy. So I'm going to go take care of this, and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day after the wear test and give you all the details. So hang tight, and I will be right back. zippity doo da zippity oh my, oh my, what a wonderful damn day. Guys, how's it going? <laughs> in case you can't tell, okay, I've been stuck in this office for hours and I've been doing paperwork. So I thought we would take a moment and I would just, you know, first of all, obviously sing to you. I would serenade you with, with the melodious sound of my voice. You're welcome. Um, but most importantly, I thought we would stop on here real quick and do a foundation check-in because I've been wearing this now for about six hours. I'm a little over halfway through my day and uh, it actually looks really, really nice. I'm going to bring you in. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to mention right here, you're going to see as I bring you in, but you're going to see that the foundation is like broken right here. And and I just wanted to put it out there. That is actually not the fault of the foundation because I, and I might've mentioned this this morning, but I have like these two acne, like really, really bad acnes that were coming through. And um, they were like the really hard inflamed, like super painful ones. And for me, I don't know if anybody else's hormonal acne is like this, but it actually caused um, like for my skin or oftentimes it causes my skin to like 
kind of break and like shed like it gets really really dry right there and uh, so i just wanted to mention that if you you know you happen to notice it didn't stick there that's why i mean it did stick there for actually the last six hours but i just checked and it was looking like kind of funky and that's why so just so you know that's not the fault of the foundation though that's the fact that my skin right there is just like shedding off my face because hormones guys i just wanted to give you that so let's bring it in and uh, show you how everything is looking obviously it's just on my phone but i still think like with this uh top lighting i have i've got recessed lighting above me and if there's anything that's going to tell you all my secrets bitch it is this light right here so i just thought you know i'd bring it in it actually looks really good like the over the cheek is nice and smooth um i am seeing which i didn't blot yet because i wanted you guys to see on my nose it is very very oily but i'm actually quite impressed because it hasn't um for as oily as it is which i'm gonna blot here in a second but for as oily as it is it hasn't like started to like slough off my nose which is really good um because even though i am having like that hydration underneath it's still sticking which is actually like i said pretty impressive um especially when a lot of other hydrating foundations they will literally just like wipe right off and so yeah i think it uh it looks really really nice even around my mouth like i'm not seeing super bad smile lines i am getting a little oil you can see like right up under my nose a little bit on my forehead but really not too bad and over my cheeks i think it just looks more like you know like glowy kind of like i don't think really there's anywhere other than my nose like not even yeah not even my chin is bad um there's nowhere else though that looks like super duper oily it's just my little schnoz right here so let me grab, do I not have like any kind of a napkin? I don't have, I don't have anything in here. Do I got anything in my purse? I found one, you guys. I found a McDonald's napkin in my purse. Woo -woo. Um, because by the way, this is what I use for my oils. I don't know what other people use with those like fancy ass blotting papers and stuff. I use a napkin, which is apparently got some lipstick on it. Um, but I use a napkin and these work really, really well for me. So I'm just going to take and blot it off. That way you guys can kind of see. I don't know if people do this on camera. I love that there's lipstick on it. Um, I don't know if normal people do this on camera, but like it's what we're doing today, honey, sweetheart. I'm just going to blot a little bit all over and that way you guys can see like the oil that came off the nose. Yes, there definitely was some, but it really wasn't that bad and my nose looks fine now. Like it didn't, um, it didn't all transfer off. Actually, wow, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that it looks this good, truthfully, because for as hydrating and like glowy as it was going on, I feel like it settled out really well with the, um, whoops, sorry, it's, it's my finger. Um, I feel like it settled out really nicely with the powders and everything and the color itself actually, even out here, it looks pretty nice. It didn't oxidize or anything super bad. Guys, I'm pretty impressed right now. Let me grab. I want to make sure that I'm seeing this correctly. Yeah, that actually looks pretty. Look at my busted. <laughs> you got Look at my busted mirror. <laughs> this is the same. Okay, so fun story. Um, This is the same mirror that I have had in here. <laughs> You guys are like, Paige, please get a P.O. box. I'll send you a mirror. Um, I have had this same mirror in my office for the last, we've been in business over 11 years and I've had this same mirror in here. And as you can tell, okay, it's, it's been through some shit. That is so funny. I can't, I can't believe I just showed that on camera. Uh, but yeah, I've had this in here forever and now it's just like dedication. Like, bitch, I'm not going to let you leave me because you, you are here for me. Like this, this is my woman. <laughs> oh God. Anyways, I, you know, it's just the fun things. This is like a very Northern Michigan thing. Like if it ain't technically broke, even though it is broke, it's not like broke to the point where I can't use it. So don't fix it. Like, you know, you just leave it and use it. Okay. I'm going to go for real for real for real for real this time oh, oh and i will talk to you guys later i'll talk to you later for real maybe um maybe i should calm down but maybe i shouldn't okay wow that's a horrible angle um Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. So I am back. I am in the studio, obviously. And uh, we're here to do some final thoughts, my check-in on this foundation. I have been wearing it for just over 10 hours at this point. And uh, actually, no, it's probably closer to 11 now because I um, I just looked and I already filmed this outro once and my mic was off. So that, that's super good. Um, so yeah, it's probably been closer to 11 hours at this point. And uh, I'm here to give you, again, my final thoughts, my opinions on how everything wore the up close and whatnot. And the first thing I want to say before before I forget it, is that on my lips, I am wearing the Lana Lips Rose Gold 101 ointment. It's like a tinted lip ointment thing, and uh, I really like it. I love the color. As you can see, it's actually pretty vibrant, and I just wanted to remember, obviously, it'll be linked down below like everything else, but I wanted to remember to tell you that, and I'm going to put it back in my pocket because I knew I would forget because I already said it once. But anyways, let's go ahead now and get into the up close. I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the screen, and uh, as far as the foundation, like the wear overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this one. Again, at this point, because it's been 
been on for so long. There is a fair amount of breakage on and around my mouth, my jawline, you know, all the usual places. And I do feel like this foundation, um, it did break down substantially after like hour eight-ish. So you are able to get a pretty good wear out of it, like in terms of, I, I would say, a quote unquote standard day, which is good. But if you are someone like me who's more combo leaning oily, definitely something to keep in mind that this foundation is going to um, kind of break down quicker on you because obviously I have, you know, those natural oils that come through. And then this also has the hydrating properties, the marula oil, which are also going to cause it to, you know, break down, especially, you know, jawline, T-zone, all that kind of stuff. So just something to consider there in terms of, you know, the breakage, the wear factor. But uh, on me, I was actually really impressed, again, for having that skin type that it did last this long. And then aside from the wear of it, because again, I think that part pretty much speaks for itself, um, I wanted to touch on a couple of things about this that I thought were really interesting because, you know, all day long I was kind of going back and forth with this because it's technically called the Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Um, so it's not technically called like a CC cream, a BB cream, but it's also not called a foundation, but it also says it has medium coverage for up to 24 hour wear. And so in my head all day long, I kept kind of going back and forth thinking like, is this technically, and I know it doesn't like actually matter, but some people really have preferences, you know, CC cream, BB cream, um, they love them or they hate them for, you know, foundation, vice versa. And so I was really trying to figure out like in my head, which camp does this really sit in? Because it seems to be straddling that line. Again, having more of the coverage and the lasting ability of a foundation while having the glowiness and the, the glowing hydrating type aspect of more of a CC BB cream. And so I was kind of playing around with that all day long. And I think this is one of those items that it really does straddle like that perfect center line for me between um, being something that you could consider a foundation because technically, even though it's a lighter coverage, the coverage does build and it does last for a decent amount of time throughout the day. Um, but at the same time, you do get that nice prolonged glowy hydrating factor that's typically more of like a BB cream, CC cream kind of thing. And I just think it's interesting too because I think it makes it a little bit more versatile in terms of what you can do with it. Like you could actually use this kind of like I applied it to the one side this morning with my hand, more like a CC BB cream type option. Or you could also use it as a foundation by itself or even as like a foundation mix-in kind of thing where if you wanted to have a foundation, like let's say, let's say for example, um, I was using my, one of my absolute favorites here, the Catrice HD Full Coverage. I'll have this link down below. Highly recommend. It's like $11.99 and it's amazing. But uh, let's say I was using this. It has more of a matte finish on the skin and I thought to myself, hey, what if I want to take that and glow it up a little bit? What if I just want my skin to look a little bit more fresh faced as opposed to more matte? I would be able to take something like this and use it as a mix-in and because it does have that coverage and that long lasting, um, I think that you'd actually be able to almost adjust your foundation with it. So I think that that brings us down to the last item of business if I'm not forgetting anything, which by the way, if I do forget anything, check for it in the description box or like in a pinned comment or something because um, obviously I've already filmed this so I can't remember what I said last time. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that I wanted to add or ever want to add, it'll usually be in one of those two places so you can check there. But uh, the last thing to touch on with this is always the is it worth it, is it good? And I think with this foundation, that has to be best answered by you. And by that, I mean your skin type, how you like to wear your makeup in terms of coverage, and how long you need it to last. Because I think for me, my thoughts on it are really hinging on those three things. Like, yes, it's a nice foundation, you know, hybrid. Um, it does work really well. I don't have any issues with it that would, you know, be glaringly, like, god-awful no. For this one, I think, for example, you know, if you are on the drier side, you might really enjoy this because it does have that beautiful glow kind of luminosity thing coming through. But at the same time, if you're combo leaning oily like me, um, I also had a lot of fun wearing it. I think it looked really nice. And I think it just really does depend on your skin type, how you wear your makeup, you know, if you're like me and you powder or if you don't, stuff like that. And then also in terms of coverage, because I don't think that this was like, it specs a medium coverage. And I don't think that this was quite all the way to medium. And if it was, it was a light medium. Um, but once I got all the other makeup on, you know, I was able to make it work, build it up to a decent medium and that was fine. So just the little things there that you have to consider. And then of course the shade range not being that great. Um, only having 12 shades is a huge problem. So things like that, you know, just kind of keep, keep a mind on all of those things. Keep a mind. 
keep in mind, rather, all of those things, uh, because I do think that they will have uh, an impact on kind of your your outlook going into it. And then, of course, too, maybe uh, by the time this goes up, I don't know if other people will have reviewed it or not, but uh, that's another thing we could, you know, take a look at, too. Other people, how did it work for them? What are their thoughts and opinions? Because obviously, you know, I'm not the end-all, be-all over here with, you know, wearing it for, as a first impression. But at this point, you guys, I don't have anything else to add. I think I talked your ear off enough, so let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Is this something that you plan on picking up? Um, when, when it's available or when we can find it. Again, keep your eyes out um, because once I see it, I will post it in the community tab here. I'll mention it over on Instagram and uh, we will go from there on that side. But uh, yeah, th those are my thoughts. Again, leave me yours in the comments. What do you think? Was this review helpful? Are you curious about this? You know, so on and so forth. Um, or even if you, you want to say hi, leave it all down in the comments. And as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really appreciate. And I think that that is everything. You guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, you know what that reminds me of? The Princess Diaries when she's sitting there in her room like... <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> Paige, except, except she was 17 in the movie and you are 31, okay? <laughs> 31, just keep that in perspective. I really don't care. <laughs> ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ah. Well, like nothing came off. That's weird. That's suspicious. Oh my God, Paige, get off the internet. If you wanna be somebody, if you wanna go somewhere, you better wake up and pay attention. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, Paige, hairball much? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just wondering why every tractor is like so loud. Like we came out with quiet cars. Why not quiet tractor? You know why? Because birds and corn don't really care if the machinery is quiet, I guess. <laughs> Silly page.